Welcome to Rwanda. We are literally in the jungle. guys good afternoon we are checking in from kigali in rwanda land of a thousand hills <laughs> and boy it's beautiful it is pretty it is gorgeous and we've had a time let me catch you up on the last few days of what we've been up to with the bal and the visit rwanda team you're gonna love it we're having a good time see you soon and gentlemen welcome to kigali rwanda kigali international airport the local time is 20 minutes to pass 3 p.m in the afternoon what's up rwanda very beautiful very well put together very developed so pretty so nice road the trees oh my god and i'm here evening outfit me, hey, my man, and my fan. <laughs> fan, fan, you just need to stop doing this corny <laughs> shit. So we checked in at the Mario and got straight to it. First up, the Africa Soft Power Gala and Awards, an event designed to showcase Africa's creativity and innovation at its finest. She knows what she's doing. Now, let me tell you, you see this? This was an exclusive red carpet event complete with canapes, cocktails, old friends, and also this amazing performance of a Rwandese traditional dance. <laughs> On to the second day and we got a taste for what the BAL invited us to Rwanda for. But before we get to that, it was time to hit the streets and check out some of the local markets in Kigali. Later, we headed to the BK Arena where all of the basketball matches will be taking place and we watched Angola versus Mali. So the BAL hooked us up and we sat courtside for the games and boy, it was amazing. I mean, to be honest, I felt like I was really just about to pick up the ball and join in. We also had an amazing performance by Tanzanian singer Abby Shams and she had me shaking my hips. You go girl. Later in the evening, we linked up with one of my husband's old uni friends who we just happened to bump into at the hotel lobby in Kigali. Now it was time to party in Kigali. Do you people even know where you're going? It's just alcohol that's fueling you. Day three and we are back at the BK Arena for the 2023 BAL Finals. On the court, Egypt versus Senegal. And boy, this was a night to remember. Let me show you the drama of how we actually nearly missed the final game. So because of our mix up with the schedules, we basically ended up caught in the worst traffic on our way to the BK Arena. Guys, we had to hop off our car, jump on the local bikes, and then soon jump off the bikes and walk the remainder of the way to make it to courtside to watch the final game. So grateful that we managed to make it where I ended up sitting courtside next to a South African actress, Pearl, and we were basically twinning in orange and black owned brands. It was so cute. In the end, Egypt took home the trophy as the BAL 2023 champions.
And that wraps up our first three days in Kigali. Now let's head back into the vlog and continue with the rest of our itinerary because I hear that there's some guerrilla trekking coming your way. Just to finish lunch at the lounge restaurant. We're here with everybody. We're now about to. We're about to what? We're about to do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we are about to go quad biking. We have just got to our next spot, and we are here to do, I believe. <laughs> Quad biking. <laughs> yes, quad biking. Um, I'm gonna be a lot safer this time round, and I hopefully I'm not gonna hurt myself. That's the plan, guys. When they say the land of a thousand hills, let me show you why they say that. This is just so beautiful. It's so stunning, and this is basically all you see when you are in Kigali. It's so lovely. It's giving everything. It's giving what it needs to give. But what exactly? It's giving. What? It's what? giving. Okay, okay. My outfit is it's, giving. It's giving. What is it giving? What it needs Swag. to give. Swag. Ah. You know, all that. So but how? why don't you finish it? No, because you know what it needs to give and it gives that. Also, I can just like not compliment you by compliment you. Yeah, That's you're giving. You're giving. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I have just changed into my sports gear. This is my bag that I just bought today at the market. It's so pretty. I love it. This is the Kigali Championships. Nope. Oh, come on, baby. I've got you. Babe, come on. Babe, here. Championship. This is for me. My God. That's not for me. That wasn't for me either. This is most definitely not mine. So this place is just basically like one big adventure land. Like you can come here with the family. There's games, there's horses, there's chairs, trampoline, bungee jumping, horses, quad bikes, zip lining. The list is literally endless. Like there's so much to explore here. And we are going back on the quads. And by the grace of God, I'm gonna come out of this strong and not injured. Babe, right? What's gonna happen today? We're gonna come off celebrating. Yes, helmet on and it's time to go around mountain biking and I think this is going to be so much fun oh my god did you see the way he just turned? yeah that's how that's how you hurt yourself on a bike Oh my god, what? We are at the next spot, which is paintballing. I have never paintballed in my life before, and I'm actually kind of scared because I hear that it hurts, but I'm gonna do it anyway. A hard flick. A what? A hard flick? Hola. Sasa, jumbo, jumbo. What's it? Amariyagi. Habariyako. That's the one. Habariyako. <laughs> hey, listen. Habariyani. Yeah. Is it filming? Yes. You lot tell me, yeah? When these lot were speaking Swahili in that often cross market, it did not sound like they're singing the whole time. Karibunisan na apatuko kapuraki, jenango ni Emmanuel. Sasa mimi niko na na chuluza hizi vinyago za Kinyarwanda. Um, tuko nazo zina zina fangisio wa Rwanda. Kwa bei mzuri sana tunakaribisha wageni wote. Tuko na vitu mingi, tuko na hizi za tunafanya kwa kwa battle tops. I already got some necklaces just like this 
and these are made from these beads they're so colorful it's giving that flair of africa but at the same time it's giving fashion it's giving black owned actually i'm actually all black owned right now black owned for me the label black owned local made in kigali i have to come check this place out they have everything here. I'm talking oven mitts. We actually need some oven mitts. Yeah, That's the funny thing. I see. These are seven thousand. Seven thousand. These are made out of bottle caps, guys. They are basically um, table mats. Everybody's so creative. Look at these shots. Let me get these shots. Shoot at you, so let me give you the padded one. Please, <laughs> this is not padded. Is it padded? checking in from our hotel room. We're so happy about the day that we've had today. We had a really, really fun day. The day started off today with us going to the the craft market, what do you call it? Like an arts and crafts market where you get to like buy all the stuff that's locally made. I bought a laptop bag. I love it. I've been looking for a laptop bag for the longest time. And this is so cute and just so unique. Like literally nobody in London is ever gonna have this. Or maybe. I got some jewelry. Oh, this that I'm wearing, this necklace. I got this from the market as well. This that I wore the other night with my black dress. I've taken so many pictures with so many wonderful girls. Like I wish I took them all on my phone because then that way I could just do like a little pick stitch. But I've had such an amazing time in Kigali and I feel all of the love. Thank you so, so much. And in general, thank you so much for like always showing me so much love when I land in any country. Anytime we land in your country, it's always like, oh my God, Lydia, welcome, welcome. We love you. And then now we're literally just off to dinner. We're about to go and have dinner. And I, I did my husband so dirty, guys. I forgot to tell him that the memo was smart. And so he was literally as casual as he can be. showed up in a pink tracksuit, for goodness sake. <laughs> Pink tracksuit in Air Force. Oh no! My man's in an Air Force. In a, a three-piece suit. suit. The waist jacket. And I'm here looking glam as ever. Oh my god, guys! Black-owned business alert, as per usual. Give me the label, black-owned. Gorgeous as always. And then I am carrying my Florian bag as well, black-owned. This whole entire trip, most of my fits have been black-owned, and it's just been. <laughs> it just feels so good to the soul, you know. Anyway, we're about to go to dinner now. Everyone's waiting for us. Husband is ready part two and let's go and have some dinner in Kigali party in Kigali dinner in Kigali everything in Kigali so much fun in Kigali <laughs> So we have just got to soy for dinner and it's like a like a pan-asian mix. The menu is so extensive. I am so excited because I'm actually very hungry. I haven't eaten today. I haven't eaten. Have I eat today? What am I talking about? Oh, you were about to this thing. I literally opened the camera. No, no, no. I was just going to show them. That's it. Menu's on here. Babe, that's literally it. Show them from This is... <laughs> this is the venue. I just robbed it off that many. Sorry, babe. There you go. And I feel alive. Resting is needed. Sometimes rest is needed. No, rest is necessary. Always. <laughs> this menu is ridiculous. God damn. <laughs> Guys, of course, I ordered a passion fruit juice. I am absolutely obsessed. It is so, so nice. It's like my drink of choice in Kigali. Passion fruit juice. Thank you. The restaurant is really, really cute. They've got a bar area here. They've got this fire pit here. It's colorful and blue. Oh, it's so, so cute, guys. Like, I'm having a whale of a time in Kigali. I don't even know. I don't even know.
pretend like there's no camera. Yeah. Pretend, pretend like there's saying no camera. Saying hi to people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waiting for me. Their training program of coffee business because they wanted to to support women coffee farmers and producers. They created their training program of coffee business by bringing up uh, small holders after the coffee variety. So to be able to help them achieve their economic independence uh, as a way of improving their standard of living, to help them uh, support their partners, uh, being able to send their kids to school, you know. So that uh, was uh, the mission of Sustainable Growers until now. I need to discover this all of this. Of the world a little bit more. I need to discover all this. Been, uh, let's go, let's go. So we're now having a look at a coffee tree. This is my first time ever looking at a coffee tree. And if you see, you can see all the different stages that it goes through. The green ones clearly are not ripe yet. These reddish ones are ripe. And then if you see a black one like this, this is overripe. Oh, it's even falling off so easily. And so the process naturally, they'll pick these. And then when you pop them, they're actually covered in this like a uh, sweet honey type substance, as you can see. Yeah. So it's actually quite wet. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, mm. but it's, it's really wet. That's why it's like it's sliding sticky. around like that. When you taste it, it's actually really sweet. And this is what the coffee beans naturally look like. And so they're almost albino. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. And so you got to leave them, you got to sun dry them for a couple of weeks just to get rid of that sticky, the sticky residue. Mm -hmm. And then once you've done that, after that, that's when you then roast them. It's come. Ooh. There we go. We've got one. Yeah. So just taste it. I just make a funny face when I'm trying stuff, don't I? Was it sweet? Kind of sweet. Kind of sweet, kind of bitter. It's like an agave it's syrupy type thing. We're going to coffee tasting. Right now, I'm. I'm tasting coffees. Yeah. About to take a sip of this one. Yeah. It's supposed to be this. <laughs> and then leaving a, a note. <laughs> I'm panting the coffee how it feels. What else are you trying to look for? So the fragrance, the aroma, the flavour, mm. the aftertaste, yeah. so what it leaves you with, how acidic it is and I guess the texture of the coffee itself, like does it feel oily, does it feel buttery, does it wow. feel dry? So and you can use, yeah, so there's this chart right here which has all the descriptive words. This is how you describe coffee. Like guys, it's complicated. It's, it's not just coffee. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> So we're now done with the coffee experience. Now we're about to go to the next part of the trip, which I am so excited for. This is the bit where we go to get to Ellen DeGeneres' camp as well as Gorilla Trekking. I, it's her campus, yeah. She, it's like she's, it's her foundation. Yeah, she did something. Ellen DeGeneres, I don't really know what it is. Hey! Come on, you give me a peace sign. <laughs> long time <laughs> I like that you guys came here uh, we have to show you uh, the place where we had a dream of building our own campus. And when you say we, who is that? Fossil fund. There it is. There it is. We just never had the means to. And then cut to 2018, we got a lead gift from uh, Ellen and Portia. Mm. And uh, mm. voila. Our mission is conservation uh, protection of gorillas mm. in their habitats. 
and this goes from protecting individuals, taking out snares that are found in the forest, mm. and then we also have uh, community engagement programs mm. where we teach conservation courses, so the importance of the work that we do, and also work with uh, community members who live close to the park that are unfortunately really affected by poverty so because of that they depend on the park for resources mm -hmm. so we come in to provide them with uh, alternatives so one they uh, don't have to depend on the forest but also not on us so they can be independent and that does help reduce the pressure on the forest <laughs> This is this is nice. This is nice. Songa Kiniji Lodge. Wow. Oh wow. Babe, who is this? Is this our lodge by ourselves? Are we roomies? Hi. Roomies. Come see this massive ass. Room tour, room tour, cribs, SA. What? This no, wait. Where all the magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look, I have just opened blankets to get inside. And look what I found <gasps> a warm, heated, hot water bottle. Oh, don't mind if I do. Anyway, I shall see you bright and early at 6 a.m. for grill tracking. Oh my god, fingers crossed that we see them. Please, fingers crossed. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is gorilla tracking morning. <laughs> we cannot wait. The time is very early in the morning. It's not even 6 30. We've just woken up, brushed my teeth, and I'm about to go and get ready to go. Yesterday night, I had a shower in here. <laughs> the water pressure was so bad. But this morning, I was hearing damn many shower and it was like a rainforest. Like, I was like, damn. I got played so, so hard. But I didn't think that I was going to have time to shower this morning. So, did it last night. But let me show you where we're staying. It's so, so cute outside. Oh, you're going to love it. Wow. Look at this. Sounds of the birds in the morning. He's really, really, really tall to me. Oh, it's so cute. This is so pretty. And our lodge is called Inzozi. Inzozi Lodge. So the plan this morning is for us to go gorilla trekking and then afterwards we'll come back for lunch and then we'll go back to the Kigali. To Kigali. Morning. How are you, my love? Oh, yeah. I'm good, how are you? Oh, this is cute. Very cute. Wow. I feel like I'm overpacked, but underpacked. No, I need my raincoat. Oh, we don't need that. Yes, ma'am. Listen. Oh, you got a cute little face. You got a little, little something on the face. Oh, my God. There we go. The gorillas. Oh, well, you guys have been having <laughs> me on some vino and tequila. Hey, I also so, gave you charcoal pills. I know so what I'm like. <laughs> I destroy, but I also regain, okay? You're that friend that literally leads everyone astray. <laughs> shot, shot, shot. Yes. And then it's like she disappeared. Morning. Guys, good morning team. Honestly, I want to cry because I've got the best raincoats. I've got the best like, Me too. yo, just. It's all packed here. back in the hotel. Not here. Or at the hotel. If I was part of this lunch, I would open my own little boutique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys, I'm you and your sister, you. all it is is business. <laughs> business, business, business. Yo, can we ship this coffee? Yo, can we do, 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 do? It's like, damn bro, thank you. Y'all don't ever rest, rest a little bit, no? Says the girl with the camera at 7 a.m. Right, right, right. Babe, let's see. What do you have on? Gators. What are gators? They're there for, as we're trekking, obviously it's going to get muddy and stuff. So as you sink your foot in the mud, you don't want it going on the trousers. So, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You're Mr. Big. Okay. I'm going to waste my time. about 
to go gorilla trekking. But first of all, we're about to get a briefing on how we can do that safely. He's so and then we go trekking. He can't stand our asses. What, he? Uh, so oh, God. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. <laughs> you guys, we can't give him the same energy we gave the coffee lady because he ain't gonna have time. Yeah, right. <laughs> he doesn't have, he doesn't have that time. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will kill us. I'm going to be you are going to see the our cousins. Ah. 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 The gorillas. Guys, so if you're going to come and trek with the gorillas, a few things that you need to know. One, make sure that you have something warm on because it's cold up here. Make sure you have proper walking boots on as well. Bring some water and something warm. I say warm because it's cold. We're in the clouds, baby. And the altitude up here, oh, the altitude is so, so high. Like, I can barely, I can barely breathe here. Because before they said to go out, to damage the crops, so they decided to make the wall. Hi, Bo. <laughs> so Wendy this morning was wearing white shorts and which trainers? Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> white trainers. <laughs> hey, but she still got her Louis bag though. She did. Hey, that's all. Now, is he taking the most complicated route? Whoa! Guys, it's not easy. We are literally in the jungle. Guys, the gorilla is on the other side. It was a buffalo, but we don't do it. was a what? Buffalo. Buffalo. Oh, buffalo. Okay, buffalo's okay. <laughs> wow. A view and a half. The trackers have found the gorillas, which means that next we put our masks on. It's yes, absolutely 12 out of 10. Like, I'm actually in a jungle with real good. I mean, they're right there, like five meters away. It's crazy. Families, babies, Honestly. uncles, and everything. Silverbacks, blackbacks, whole shit. Number one, number two, and number three. So they have like a hierarchy situation where there's obviously the main silverback who's the leader. Alpha male. Alpha male. And then once the alpha male. Once the alpha male passes, then it goes into the number two, the number three. And here we have literally a whole family of, oh, it's insane. Like, this is actually insane. I see one right up there. I think he's, she's grooming the baby. Baby, <laughs> look! Chicken and the monkey. Bye, guys. This is a real blood clot heck. This was a real hike to get here. 100%. Yeah. We're starting to plan right, well, now. right now. In fact, I started last night. Oh, damn. We're back to this shit. Thank you. Where do I put this? Where do I put it? Thank you. Okay, We're about to get a foot massage, guys. How? How special. No way. Wow. I feel spoiled. Wow. Oh. It's a good soak. The best thing about being married is the fact that you can pick one dish and your partner's gonna pick the other and guess what? You can share it. So I'm gonna go for the beef ragu and Damien's gonna go for the pork. Is it nice? Freshy. <laughs> That's how I feel about the pan the passion fruit juice. 
guys these browns are absolutely stunning and i've just had a foot massage and now i am just grounding getting those feet in the ground literally doing some grounding feels so good <sighs> what a morning what an amazing amazing morning on our plan next is just to have some lunch at 1 30 and then after lunch we're gonna drive back to kigali and then have dinner and then we have a flight to catch literally in and out of kigali it's been such an amazing like five six days it's been so so good with the bal and visit ronda we definitely have to come back like we were just saying that we had the most fun group like we came partially work partially holiday and we need to do this all again with the exact same group again because it's just been so much vibes <laughs> cheers <laughs> We're now at lunch. Yeah, yeah, you were. Bubbles, some champs, yeah. as we're just about to order. Actually, we already ordered our food just before we had our foot massages, which is incredible. Now we're just catching up on everybody's experience with the gorillas, which has been amazing. Literally amazing. <laughs> Bye guys!